Best of Friends, written by Claire Bradford, illustrated by Maddick Thompson. Once there was a mouse whose best friend in the world was a cat. The cat and the mouse lived together and shared everything they had. One day, mouse said, "It's time to store some food for the winter, so we won't be hungry when it snows." Yes, indeed," said the cat. "Let's go and see what we can find." The two friends went looking for food. They found a tub of butter that had been tossed into a garbage bin. The tub had not been opened. Ah! cried the cat. This butter will taste delicious on cold winter days. But our house is not big enough to store such a large tub of butter. Said the mouse, "Where should we hide it? I know," said the cat. "Let's put it in the hollow tree beside the river." They put the body in the hollow tree. As the days passed, the cat kept thinking about the taste of butter. How I wish I could try some," said the cat to itself. So she vented. To the mouse and said, "Dear friend, my cousin is getting married, married today, and would you like to go to the wedding? Will you look after the house while I'm gone?" Certainly," said the mouse. The cat said goodbye to the mouse and went straight to the hollow tree. He took. Out the tub and opened it and gobbled up the butter at the top. And she put the tub back and ran home. Goodness," said the mouse. "That was a very short wedding. Did you have a good time?" "Oh yes," said the cat. "The bride looked beautiful." "What is your cousin's name?" asked the mouse. "Top off," replied the cat. "How interesting," said the mouse. I never heard a name like that before. After this, the two friends lived together happily for a while. But the cat couldn't stop thinking of the tub of butter again. She ran to the mouse. "Dear friend," said the cat, "my second cousin is getting married today. Will you take care of the house while I go to the wedding?" "Of course," said the mouse. Then the cat went to the tree, took out the, the butter, and laid it until the tub was half empty. When she arrived home, the mouse said, "Back so soon? Did you enjoy the wedding?" "Oh yes," said the cat. "I danced until my feet were sore." "And what was your second cousin's name?" asked the mouse. "Half done," answered the cat. "Half done." Repeated the mouse. What an unusual name! For a long time, the two friends lived together happily. But the cat thought to return to the tub of butter. Dear friend, said the cat, "My third cousin is getting married today. Will you take care of the house while I go to the wedding?" It would be a pleasure, said the mouse. The cat went to the tree, took out. The butter and finished it. When she had licked the tub clean, then she put it back in the tree and returned home. Home already? Asked the mouse. How did the wedding go? Wonderful, said the cat. The food was delicious. And what's your turtle cousin's name? Asked the mouse. All gone, replied the cat. You certainly have a strange names in your family," said the mouse. At the last, winter came, and the cat and mouse had no food left. I know," said the mouse. "We should fetch the tub of butter we stored in the hollow tree, 
An excellent idea," said the cat. "I hope no one has eaten it." They set off for with the mouse leading the way. She put her head inside the hollow tree. Here it is," the mouse cried. But when, but when she pulled it out, she saw that the tub was empty. "Aha!" cried the mouse. "I know who is responsible for this. Your three cousins came one by one to eat your butter. First tub off, half done, and then last of all, what did you what did you say about my family?" shouted the cat. "Oh, I'll eat you too!" Oh God! cried the mouse, and she jumped into the hollow tree. The cat was dashed after the mouse, but the hole was too small for a cat. Since that time, no cat has ever made friends with a mouse, and no mouse has ever made friends with a cat. But the cat still loves butter, so watch out where you keep yours.